Hey guys, what is going on? It's good to see everybody. I have some great tips today. This is about turning down customers. Usually we talk about finding customers, but sometimes you're gonna find customers that you don't wanna work with. Here's my tips on how to determine which, customer, uh, which customers those are. The first tip is low ballers. There's gonna be times where customers don't respect your rates at all and they're gonna want a lot of work for barely any pay. Usually these customers are the most difficult and the most picky to work with. So if they are offering something that is not reasonable at all, I'm talking less than half, less than sometimes less than 25% of what you usually charge, you gotta tell them that uh, you're not a good fit for them. You gotta tell them that this is not a project that you're able to take on, that your rates are you know whatever they are let them know and it is okay to walk away from that don't take it on it's gonna be more hassle than it's worth um, don't take on low ballers uh, the second thing is if they're being rude or they are not being very pleasant to work with if anybody starts to disrespect you or treat you negatively rudely that is a big red flag that means that they're gonna be a nightmare to work with so most people are polite, thankfully, but if people are demanding or just um, criticizing you or doubting your skills or ability, anything like that, um, asking for things that are not uh, are not usually included in the order, uh, that is when you are going to have to turn them away. You're going to have to say no. You're going to have to thank them for reaching out, but politely decline them. So rudeness, lowballing, and the last one I would say are projects where you're not a good fit. You might get projects from time to time where the customer is looking for something very specific and it's so specific that maybe it it's not something that you feel comfortable with or you feel like it, it's not a good fit for your, your type of voice. I've gotten scripts from other countries that were in English but had foreign words. I've gotten a script from Germany where they had German words. I don't speak German, so I don't pronounce these German words natively. And I'll let the customer know that so that they are okay with it or not okay with it. But that way it saves both of us time. So it's very important to not take on projects that aren't a good fit for your voice. Um, I've had other projects where a, a customers wanted a really deep voice and I don't have that deep of a voice. I, I would send them my demo for them to listen, but if I don't have what they're looking for, I'll let them know because that's gonna save us time where I record it, I send it to them. The customer's not happy because they were expecting something else. And um, then I would have to refund them. So just make sure you, you don't take on projects that aren't suited for your voice. And those are my main tips. Most people are great to work with. Um, most people are up for negotiating sometimes. They don't have everything, you know, they, they can't afford exactly what your rate is, but if they're able to pay close enough to it or something reasonable, it's perfectly fine to negotiate and accept what you are happy doing. Um, so those are my tips. Just watch out for low ballers. Uh, stay away from anybody who's rude or just not pleasant or disrespectful. And also stay away from projects or turn down projects that aren't a good fit for your voice or just have tricky words or just something that you're not comfortable with. That's going to save you time, headache, and frustration and get you the right projects that you were meant to have. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Appreciate you always popping in. And uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to get started in voiceovers, Check out voiceoverfreedom.com, reach out to me, I will show you how to get started, how to build a booth, get the equipment, learn how to become a producer, and find paying clients online so you can live your dream life as a voiceover artist. Thanks again, guys. Take care. See ya.